I feel like I'm at a gender reveal party. <laughs> is it a girl or is it a boy? <laughs> oh, snap. 20 Dev is 2 IB and on this week's episode of All Snap, we're gonna talk about the XXL freshman list. Who bit Beyonce and did anybody know that Snoop Dogg was out here making gospel music? Spoiler alert, I didn't know. It wasn't me. Mm, let's get started. Oh snap. Almost every hip hop head knows about the XXL freshman list. It is a list put out by XXL magazine where it's supposed to be the top rapper slash artist in the game right now or underground artist to look out for. These are people to expect a lot from who really out here doing well, who's just generally a good artist. The list ultimately creates a buzz around these artists and is credited to giving many artists their claim to fame. Thank you, Wikipedia, for all that information. <laughs> but as of lately, the XXL freshman list has gotten a lot of flack in the past couple years because of the people who they put on the list. It all started in 2007 when the first list came out. And on that list was Sagan, Plies, Rich Boy, Gorilla Zoe, Joel Ortiz, Lupe Fiasco, Young Dro, Lil Boozy, Hey Boo, Crooked Eye, and Papoose. Papoose. <laughs> Pretty good list, granted a couple of them we kind of clown from time to time, but it was still a pretty good list. Throughout the years, there's been a whole bunch of other artists such as J. Cole, Meek Mill, Chance the Rapper, B.O.B., August Alsina, Isaiah Rashad. Some real good ones, okay? So for this year's freshman list, artists can upload their pitch to XXL's website. People can vote on them on who should be on the list. And one rapper who got something to say, and he always got something to say, is Takashi69. He says that his pitch video for XXL somehow got deleted or was down for 12 hours. And for this, he thinks the list is rigged. His video was is the most viewed video before it was taken down. It had about 672,000 views on it. And that's, I think he had the top. Top run, top, top video. <laughs> I saw his pitch video and I still don't know why I would vote for him. I want to see if this double XL freshman list is rigged or not. So go vote for me. Go vote for Sky 69 Go vote for me right now. Um, we got the biggest numbers in the game. You know, five platinum records, five billboard songs. So let's go see if it's rigged or not. Go vote for me. But hey, if that don't work out, Takashi, make a YouTube video about them eyebrows because I would love to see that. Oh, snap. I never thought something like this would be legit news, but when Beyonce is involved, everything becomes a story. Somebody famous bit Beyonce's face. Yep, that's legit story. <laughs> But why is it a story you may ask? Because simply somebody's out here biting faces. Somebody's out here biting Beyonce's face. Is this gonna be a new thing that people just bite people's faces now? Is it gonna be like the it clown crimes? <laughs> So Tiffany Haddish, who is never afraid to say what's on her mind, revealed that at an after party for the Jay-Z's concert 444 in Inglewood, California, Lame. she quotes an actress on drugs who's doing the mostest bit Beyonce's face. But Tiffany Haddish ain't saying no name. So then the hashtag who bit Beyonce became a thing on Twitter as people were trying to find the culprit. A lot of people suggested Sanaa Lathan was the one who bit her face, but Sanaa Lathan has denied that. Another suspect was girl's creator and star, Lena Dunham, but she denied it too. Some people also thought it would maybe Chrissy Teigen, Sarah Foster, Jennifer Lawrence, and Lindsay Lohan. Oh, I'm gonna stop you right there because you really think Lindsay Lohan was gonna be at a Jay-Z concert after party? Really? Really? Y'all, get your detective skills up. Play them. <laughs> but in true fun killer fashion, Beyonce comes out, or Beyonce's people come out and say they're not gonna say who it was that bit her on the face because they don't want that drama around that person. <laughs> oh, snap. This week's awesome moment of the week has to go to none other than Snoop Doggy Dog. Snoop Dogg has pretty much done everything, right? From music, TV shows, cooking with Martha Stewart, movies, weed. <laughs> but something I would never, ever, ever, ever thought that he would do is gospel music. And it's actually good. I got a whole lot that I can really thank him for. When I was moving fast, he had to slow my roll. And it's not just me that thinks his music is good. His gospel album, Bible of Love, has reached number one on the top gospel album charts. There's 32 songs on the gospel album and features a heavy hitter lineup of gospel artists such as Erica Campbell, Marvin Sapp, Ty Trebet, and Uncle Charlie Wilson. Even three tracks on the album are already on the Hot Gospel Singles chart. Snoop Dogg to Snoop Lion to Snoop Jesus. Okay, too much, too much. 
there you have it, episode four of All Snap. If you miss me doing the entertainment news on Fox 46 here in the Carolinas, I will drop the link below so you can watch it maybe again or for the first time down below. If you like this week's episode of All Snap, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss an episode. And I'll see you next Thursday. Bye. <laughs>